I am going to conduct history taking interview. Good day, Ms. Catalina Muspagranan. I am Keisha Nuevo, your student nurse for today. Good day, ma'am. How would you like to call me? Just call me Kat. Biographic data is to know more about the patient's basic information and to have an overview for the patient. Okay. Let me just fill the few of your information. So, what's your full name? Catherine Rose, Commission Pagrahan. How old are you? 20. Where do you live? I live in Binunga, Turin, Davao City, Philippines. When is your birthday? April 28, 2001. April 28, 2001. What's your status? In relationship. So now, let's proceed to the interview so that we can start now. So next, we will be proceeding about the reason for seeking care. It is to know the reason what is the main reason why she come here in the clinic. So, what's bringing you here in the clinic? I came here, nurse, because I am having cough and cold. So, okay now. We will talk about the history of the present illness. Taking the present health history of the patient so that we will be able to know what she feels about her illness. How so worse is it? What are the medicines she takes before she comes to the clinic? Is that the illness, illness is disturbing or not? And anything else. Okay, so how long has been this cough and cold? I think it's been four to five days already. It's four to five days already. Yes. Okay. Have you got <coughs> any symptoms along with this cough and cold? No, that's it. Okay, so cough and cold, do you experience these two at the same time? Yeah. Yes. Are your cough and cold are getting worse at any particular time in the day and night? Yes, it, it's... It is so very disturbing, especially at night. I can't sleep well. Okay. <coughs> About your cough, every time you cough, can you feel any pain at your chest? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do really feel the pain if I cough continuously. What about your cold? Can you breathe normally? No. The cold blocking my nose and I can breathe normally, especially when I lay down at my bed. Okay, can you elaborate more your experience with cough and cold? About the cough, I noticed that every time I cough, <clears throat> there is always a presence of my yellowish and sticky phlegm and also it's so itchy and in my cold, it is just not easy to breathe because there is a sticky yellowish thing that blocking my nose. Okay, in the scale of 1 to 10, <clears throat> Rate your cough and cold. One is the least and ten is the worst. How bad is your cough and cold? Well, it's suppose six to seven. Six to seven. <coughs> well, do you feel any pain around your head? Um, so every time I cough, I feel pain in here, point that, and also here. Okay, so do these pains radiate anywhere else? No. No. Can you describe the pain? Is it stabbing, throbbing, or anything else? It's like stabbing me whenever I lay. Okay, so have you been taking medicine, medicines to alleviate the pain of the cough and cold? Yeah, the... Three days ago, I went to the pharmacy and I brought Tylenol, Rabitocin for my cold and cough, and Vicks, Vicks rub is for me to breathe slightly. So, how many <coughs> days you take these medicines? I think it's already three days from now. Three days from now. Okay, next is all about the past health is history. Taking the past history of the patient is to have an overview about her other problems or 
if the illness that she feel right now is in line with the history of her parents and also to assess about what are the illness that she might have because of the illness that their family already have. So, have you been admitted before or any health problems? <clears throat> well, I have never been admitted to the hospital because of illness or disease. Okay, never admitted. Okay, so you don't have any illness such as diabetes, heart problems, infection, asthma, or anything else? No. Okay, so I assume that you don't have any maintenance medications? No. So in allergies, do you have any allergies when it comes to food or pets? <coughs> I have some allergies, particularly in food, such as shrimps, crabs, lobster, and squid. So, do you ask your parents about your immunization or vaccine when you were a child? Yes, I guess. Can you recall, recall your immunization or vaccine? Oh, I can't remember anymore, nurse. Okay, so do you, do you take any vitamins? Yes, vitamin C. Vitamin C. So, can you recall any surgeries? No, I have not. I have not. Are you up to date in your immunization or vaccines? Yes. <clears throat> Next is the OB-GYN history. ob history is to assess if the patient is still having their menstrual period, if their period is normal or, normal or abnormal, and also if what they feel when they have period. Okay, are you still having your menstrual period? Yes. So you have experienced any miscarriages? No. Do you have any productive problems? When I am having my period, I experience menstrual cramps. Okay. <coughs> Next is all about family history. It is also connected with the past history. It is to have an overview if the patient family is also suffering from a certain illness. Then we cannot deny that she will be also experiencing that kind. So, I have some questions about your family background or if there is anything disease or illness with your family. Can you remember the illness and disease that your family have? No. Does your family have diabetes, high blood, heart problems, and something else? <coughs> high blood. High blood. Is there anything else? How about asthma? No. Cancer? No. Any mental disorders? So next is psychosocial history. It is to know her social background such as what her job, is she, no, is she smoking or drinking alcohol. Now, I would like you to ask your social background, is that okay to you? Yes. So, if you don't mind, what is your occupation? I'm a student. You're a student. <clears throat> Are you happy as a student? Yes, I am happy. Happy. Have you lately been exposed to the people with fever, cold, or cough? Well, a week ago, my sister and had a fever and cough, but no, but now she is already okay. At home, is everything all right? No stressors? No stressor at all. How about your friends? How frequently do you see them? Well, before pandemic, we always get together. We go to parks, malls, and so on. Since pandemic happened, we can't do it anymore. Okay, so do you smoke at all? No. Okay, good to know that, that you're not smoking. How about drinking alcohol? Yes, I am drinking alcohol, but sometimes only. Then next is the current lifestyle. It is to assess if had if a patient has healthy lifestyle and also if she is doing some proper diet and exercise. Okay, so let's proceed to your current lifestyle. In your diet, what kind of food do you usually eat? In my diet, mm -hmm. I eat healthy foods such as vegetable and fish. Okay, do you exercise? Yes, I do exercise, but only sometimes because I am busy right now. Okay, so we're done taking the important data now. I'm going to sum up that we've covered and then correct me if I am wrong, okay? 
Okay. Okay, so you are Miss Catherine Rose Bagrangan, also known as Kath. You came here in the clinic because you have a cough and cold and experienced chest pain when continuously coughing and can't breathe normally. Because of the cold, it is very disturbing at night. The cough has been there four to five days already. The cough has a presence of yellowish and sticky phlegm. Also, it is so itchy. In the cold, there's a presence of light, yellowish thing that blocking the nose. It feel like stabbing you. To alleviate the situation, you take medicines take in three days from now. Now, and they are the Tylenol, Rubitacin, and Vicks Vaporub. Okay, so you don't have e any illness but you are allergy to foods, particu particularly shrimps, crabs, lobsters, and Queen. And you don't experience having surgeries and you don't have any infections. You are still having menstrual period and when you are having a menstrual period, you've experienced cramps. And you don't experience miscarriages. Your family has in line with high blood. <coughs> and anything else. You don't have any asthma, mental disorder, cancer and so forth. You are still a student now and you're happy being of it. When the pandemic is not here, you've met your friends, but when the pandemic happened, you never met them anymore. You are not smoking, but drinking alcohol sometimes. In diet, you eat healthy meal and do exercise, but only sometimes due to the fact that you are busy and that is there anything would like you to correct or clarify? No, everything is correct. So, okay, we're almost done. Is it okay to you that we will take your vital sign and listen to your lungs to hear any abnormal sounds? It's okay. Okay, now I will going to take your vi vital signs now, your temperature, blood pressure, pulse rate, and breathing rate. And also listen to your lungs to hear some abnormal sounds. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, do it again, thank you. Okay, so your temperature is 36.7, your blood pressure is 120 over 80. Your pulse rate is 92, your breathing rate is 19. 
All right. So now, I would like to hear your lungs and that's already done. So I hear some wheezing sounds in the lower part of your lungs. So the doctor's gonna come, coming next, I just gonna give the result of what I have just done and the doctor will gonna come and visit and see you after that. Is it okay to you? Yes, nurse. So I'm back. The doctor told me that he heard the same thing that I've heard. And so the doctor gave me your prescriptions and your meds are follows. So you've got amoxicillin albumin tea, 500 milligrams every 8 hours for 1 week that is equivalent for 7 days. And Zanamir relenza for 7 days. Okay. Thank you, nurse. Thank you.